this patient was referred to me for endodontic retreatment of tooth number 30. Porcelain crown, previous root, root canal, you can see peripheral relucency here and here. Patient has symptoms. This root canal was done a few years ago, according to the patient. And as I said, patient had symptoms. So we discussed options with the patient, and he decided that he wanted to try to save the tooth. So today went ahead and redid this root canal for him in one appointment and less in less than an hour. And here's the post-op. As you can see, everything went beautifully. Endo access through the porcelain crown, removed the build-up material. And I noted that the entire buccal part of the build-up was not even attached to the tooth. It had debonded. So I fixed that. There was basically communication from the patient's mouth into the tooth. Saliva and bacteria and what have you. So I patched that up, fixed that, removed the gutta percha, and was able to regain patency in all three canals. These were 26 millimeter long canals. And uh, as you can see, look at that beautiful curvature there. Everything went beautifully. Let me show you a different angulation. This is another angulation and take a look here. Look at, see that beautiful anatomy there, curvature there. Regaining patency in these situations is extremely important because we want to be able to go all the way to the end of each canal and remove the necrotic tissue and contaminated dentin. Irrigate copiously with full strength, 6% sodium hypochlorite and then sonic and or ultrasonic activation. And take a look at all of this anastomosis between the mesial canals. Look at all of that. As you can see, everything went beautifully. We went ahead and temporized the tooth and referred the patient back to his dentist for the permanent restoration.